Hello everyone. Welcome to the course on basic electronics. The subject code is 23ECT23B. Myself Umayas, Assistant Professor, Department of ECE. So in this session we will discuss about module 2 that is BJT and FET. The content goes like this, bipolar junction transistor, introductions to transistor, its construction, operation, common base configuration, transistor amplifying action, common emitter configuration, common collector configuration, limits of operation, operating point, fixed bias configuration, introduction to FET, construction and characteristics of JFET, the transfer characteristics of depletion type MOSFETs, and enhancement type MOSFETs. So these are the content. So in this session, we are going to discuss few things about common base configuration, tra transistors amplifying action, common emitter configuration, common collector configuration. So before we start with uh, common base configuration, like few things about uh, BJT amplification, like current amplification. The equations that demonstrates that a, a transistor can be used for current amplification, a small change in the base current that is delta IB produces a large change in collector current delta IC and a large emitter current change change that is delta IE. So rewriting equation uh, and the current gain from the base to collector that can be stated in terms of the current level changes that is beta DC is equal to delta IC by delta IB. The increasing and decreasing levels of input and output currents may be defined as alternating quantities. So in this case, the small letters are used for the subscripts here. Thus IB is an AC base current, IC is an AC collector current, IE is an AC emitter current. The alternating current gain from the base to collector can be stated as beta AC is equal to IC by IB. As in the case of DC current gain, the two parameter symbols are available for common emitter AC current gain. Beta AC and HFE, either symbol may be used, but once again, HFE is the symbol employed on transistor data sheets. Voltage amplification refers to the circuit and assuming that the transistor Q1 has beta DC is equal to 50. Note that 0.7 volts DC voltage source uh, forward bias is the transistor base emitter junction and AC signal source in series with VB provides plus or minus 20 millivolts input voltage. The transistor collector is connected to a 20 volts DC voltage source that is VCC via the 12 kilo ohm collector resistor that is R1. Common base characteristics. Common base circuit when a diode is investigated is several levels for a several levels of uh, forward or reverse voltage are applied and the corresponding current levels are measured. The characteristics of the device are then drawn by plotting the graph of current versus voltage. Because a transistor is a three terminal uh, device, there are three possible connection arrangements. So for investigating its characteristics, Three sets of characteristics may be constructed for each of these configurations. So here in this figure, it shows PNP transistor with its base terminal common to both the input terminals and the output terminals. The transistor is set to be connected in common base configuration. Voltmeters and ammeters are included to measure the input and output voltages and current. 
so here uh, we need to note that the presence of resistor R1 is to assist in controlling the emitter current. So some of the common base input characteristics. To investigate the input characteristics, the output voltage VCB in this figure output voltage VCB is kept constant and the input voltage VEV is set at several convenient levels. At each input voltage the corresponding input current IE is recorded. The IE and VEV levels are then plotted to give the common base input characteristics. Because the emitter base junction is forward biased, the characteristics are essentially those of a forward biased PN junction. Figure also shows that for a given input voltage, more input current flows when higher levels of collector base voltages are used. This is because larger collector base voltages cause the depletion region at the collector base junction to penetrate deeper into the base of the transistor thus shortening the distance and reducing the resistance between the emitter base and collector base depletion regions. Common base output characteristics to prepare a table of readings for plotting the output characteristics i.e. is held constant at each of several fixed current levels. VCB is adjusted in convenient steps and the corresponding values of IC are recorded. So the corresponding IC and VCB levels obtained when IE was held constant at 1 mA are plotted. The resultant characteristic is identified as IE is equal to 1 mA. Similarly, other characteristics are plotted for IE equal to 2 mA. Equal, IE equal to 2 mA, 3 mA and so on. The common base output characteristics in this figure shows that for each fixed level of IE, IC is almost equal to IE and IC appears to remain constant. When VCB is increased, in fact there is a very small increase in LC with increasing VCB. This is because the increase in collector to base bias voltage VCB expands the collector base depletion region and thus shortens the distance between the two depletion regions with IE held constant. The increase in IC is so small that it is noticeable only for large variations in VCB. The slope on the output characteristics is sometimes referred to as the early effect. So here uh, when VCB is reduced to zero, IC still flows. This is because even when the externally applied voltage is zero, there is still a barrier voltage existing at the collector base junction and this assists the flow of IC. The charge carriers which constitute IC are minority carriers as they cross the collector base junction. Consequently, the reverse bias collector base voltage tends to pull them across the junction. The collector base barrier voltage has the same polarity and so the barrier voltage also pulls the charge carriers to the collector. To stop the flow of charge carriers, the collector base junction has to be forward biased. IC is reduced to zero only when VCB is increased positively. The region of the graph for the forward biased collector base junction is known as the saturation region. The region in which the junction is reverse biased is named the active region. This is the normal operating region for the transistor. If an excessive reverse bias voltage is applied to the collector base junction, the device breakdown may occur. The breakdown illustrated by the dashed lines can be caused by the same effects that make diodes 
that make uh, diodes break down breakdown can also result from the collector base depletion region penetrating into the base until it makes contact with the emitter base depletion region this condition is known as punch through or reach through and very large currents can flow when it occurs possibly destroying the device it is very important to maintain vcb below the maximum safe limit specified by the device manufacturer typical maximum vcb levels ranges from 25 to 80 volts so the common base current gain characteristics the current gain characteristics is also termed as the forward transfer characteristics that can be obtained experimentally by use of the circuit in the figure VCB is held constant at a convenient voltage and IC is measured IC is measured for various levels of IE IC is then plotted versus IE and the resultant graph is identified by the VCB level the common base current gain characteristics can be derived from the common base output characteristics a vertical line is drawn through a selected VCB value and corresponding levels of IE and IC are read along the line. The IC levels are then plotted versus IE and the characteristics is labeled with the VCB used. Because almost all of IE flows out of the collector terminal as IC VCB has only a small effect on the current gain characteristics. Next is common emitter configuration. Coming to the common emitter configuration or common emitter characteristics. The common emitter circuit. So this figure shows a circuit for determining BJT common emitter characteristics. The input voltage is applied between the base and the emitter terminals and the output is taken at the collector and emitter terminals so that the emitter terminal is common to both input and output resistor R1 is included to help maintain the base current at a constant level voltage and current levels are measured as shown to prepare a table of measured values for constructing the common emitter input characteristics VCE is held constant VB is set at convenient levels and the corresponding IB levels are recorded IB is then plotted versus VBE as shown it is seen that the common emitter input characteristics uh, are those of a forward biased PN junction it should be remembered that IB is only a small portion of the total current that flows across the base emitter junction the figure also shows that for a given level of VBE IB is reduced when higher VCE levels are employed this is because the higher VCE produces greater depletion region penetration into the base reducing the distance between collector base and emitter base depletion regions consequently more of the charge carriers from the emitter flow across the collector base junction and fewer flow out through the base terminal so coming to the output characteristics to obtain the table of values for plotting the common emitter output characteristics IB is maintained constant at several convenient levels at each IB level VCE is adjusted in steps and IC is recorded at VCE step the IC values are plotted versus VCE for each IB level to create the kind of output characteristics family shown in the figure note that the VB and VCE polarities are negative for the characteristics shown this is because a PNP transistor is being investigated 
so the common emitter output characteristics uh, for a bjt are a graph of collector current ic plotted versus collector emitter voltage vce for various constant levels of base current ib in the active region so for each constant level of ib ic increases by a small amount as vce increases ic is reduced to zero when vce becomes zero because ie is not held constant the shortening of the distance between the depletion regions draws more charge carriers from the emitter to the collector so although iv is constant ic increases to some extent with increasing vce causing the slopes of the common emitter output characteristics to be much more pronounced than those of a common base characteristics so the slope of the output characteristics is sometimes termed as the early effect so this can be demonstrated that when the characteristics are extended to the left of the current axis they will meet at a point on the horizontal scale so this is illustrated the voltage at the point of intersection is typically around minus 100 volts to minus 200 volts and it is known as the early voltage va it is seen that the slope of the collector characteristics for a given level of ic can be calculated as rc is equal to va by ic the quantity rc represents the ac output resistance of the bjt at the collector terminal some computer programs use the early voltage for a particular transistor to determine rc for a given collector current IC reduces to zero when VCE becomes zero. So this is because the horizontal axis voltage VCE equals VCV plus VBA. At the knee of the characteristic, the collector base junction voltage has been reduced to zero. Further reduction in VCE causes the collector base junction to be forward biased and this repels minority charge carriers thus reducing IC to zero. The dashed lines in the figure shows that if VCE exceeds a maximum uh, safe voltage, then IC increases rapidly. So as in the case of common base configuration, this is due to punch through and this could destroy the BJT. So coming to the current gain characteristics, the common emitter current gain characteristics are output current IC plotted versus input current IB for various fixed levels of VCA. Like the common base current gain characteristics, they can be obtained experimentally or derived from the output characteristics to prepare the table of IB and IC values experimentally using the circuit. So VCE is held at a selected level, IB is adjusted in steps and the corresponding IC level is recorded at each step. So next is common collector characteristics or common collector configuration. So output and current gain characteristics uh, of the BJT common collector output and current gain characteristics are shown here. The output characteristics are a plot of emitter current IE versus the emitter collector voltage VEC. So for several constant levels of base current the current gain characteristics are ie plotted versus ib at constant vec voltages at constant vec voltages so it will be uh, that the common emitter output characteristics are ic plotted against vce and that the common emitter current gain characteristics so 
the uh, ic approximately equals ie and the common collector output and current gain characteristics are practically identical to those of the common emitter circuit the circuit arrangement in figure shows the bjt collector terminal common to both the input uh, base collector voltage vbc and uh, suitable output emitter collector voltage so it should be noted that vec variations affect ib 